One of the most frustrating questions you'll ever get asked as a network engineer, what troubleshooting have you done? Let's talk about it. It's so easy to fall back on my crutches of resources of people that I know and love and trust whenever I run into an issue and immediately my gut reaction is just throw the question in Slack or MS Teams or whatever the chat is. You're like, hey, I ran into this issue. Well, what's going on? Why, why is this not working? Well, guess what? The question that I always got back that I never thought to answer first what troubleshooting have you done? Troubleshooting is a critically important skill. In fact, in my DevNet series of courses, as well as Encore, and as well as in Auto, I said the number one skill you should have as a network automator, network engineer, is reading documentation. But my number two skill that I think you should have as a network automator or a network engineer is troubleshooting. I love more than anything, when people experiment and try new things, but lots of times that experimentation doesn't always work. Check this out. Recently, a learner reached out to me through LinkedIn asking for a problem. They, they ran into questions while following along with my Meraki content and they needed some help. And what I should have done, what I'm looking back on it now, is I probably should have asked this learner first, what troubleshooting have you done? Because that would have challenged them to take it a step further and work through an issue. That is what would happen in the real world, after all. You will run into problems when experimenting and trying new things, and it'll be on you to troubleshoot what went wrong. Again, I love that this particular learner tried something new. Let me point it out. I was happy to help this learner out. It only took a few seconds to figure out what was going on. And what they did is they tried to do something new with the URL, right where my mouse is. They tried to use a new environment variable. And that's where my first thought was, was maybe there's something wrong with that. And immediately looking down in the air, well, clearly it's not picking up the environment variable because it's got HTTP colon slash 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 organizations. After about one or two minutes of troubleshooting, we realized that they needed to move the protocol from their environment variable to this actual URL line so that it could pick up the correct environment variable instead of getting confused by the protocol being on the environment variable as well as appending HTTP at the very beginning. Again, it was a simple request and I love the fact that they were trying something new, that they didn't follow along exactly as I did because they wanted to do it their own way. Awesome. And the error was very easy to resolve because it was written right there on the screen. that It wasn't picking up the environment variable correctly. So it was very easy to just correspond through LinkedIn on what went wrong here and let them know what they're going the right way. But what should really happen is I should have asked, what troubleshooting have you done? Because that's what's going to happen in the real world. That's what's going to happen in an exam environment too. You're going to try things in an exam environment and it won't work correctly. And you'll need to be able to troubleshoot it. Troubleshooting is a big part of what we do. In fact, there are some exams that are dedicated to nothing but troubleshooting. So when you run into issues like this, of course, you can reach out through social media and ask for help. And if I'm available, I should be able to respond back. Sometimes I'm not available. This quarantine has really made things challenging for a lot of us being at home with my family and everything. But if I'm available, I can respond. But my first question is going to be what troubleshooting have you done? See if you can work through this problem on your own and solve it on your own because that will drill the concepts home even better for you. So the next time you run into an issue, experimenting, which is an awesome thing to do, take it a step further and do some troubleshooting. Ask yourself, what troubleshooting have I done? Or prepare to answer the question, what troubleshooting have you done? There are times where I have troubleshot things for days, but when I finally got to that resolution, man, did it drill that concept home for me. And now I've got these things locked down solid. I'll never forget them. I mean, who remembers troubleshooting the first time they tried to ping a Windows server and they couldn't because Windows Firewall was turned off? Will you ever forget to check Windows Firewall now? Probably not. So my question to you, what troubleshooting have you done? All right, thanks for stopping by y'all. See you in the next one.